and the download for Windows was over here for me and easy one. There's a couple other places you can download it from. Different universities hosted. Like I said, it took, I think it took less than a minute or not. It was really fast. The installation was the same way. I mean, it was just quick. So here's how you did a box plot. Uh, I, I made data, the data, my data is called Z, and I just did, I did their example. I copied their example, which was to set to a random normal distribution of 20, 20 things. <coughs> so it just makes you a, a piece of data that's got 20 randomly uh, distributed uh, variables between 0 and 1, or minus 1 and 1, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and all you have to do to do box plot is box plot is Z. And then you have to go over to the window and hit return so it'll do one. So there it was. And so then I said, well, that's good, but I, I may not want to do a box plot of some random numbers. I, I, I know you guys, yeah, box plot, you want to put your own numbers in. So that's the next thing I did. Uh, I just said, well, how, how do you do that? Um, and so it's really, really hard. But I named it B. And you say, you know, sort of make, you make a little arrow with the less than and the minus, and you use this command called C, and you just type them in. So there it is. So if you had those numbers, you want to make a box plot, that's your command. Box plot of B, and boom, there it gave it to you. And so, literally, if you've got to make a box plot for one of your um, capstones, and you don't want to use my ugly Excel thing, you download R in two minutes, install it, another three, there's your two commands. You got a box plot, and it's not a bad box plot. And not only that, the next one I just I played with the data set, threw in some 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 outliers, just you know, because you always want to see what what does it do, you know, how does it tolerate things. So I threw a couple of outliers in. Look at that, it, it 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 shows you the outliers here with a little circle. So it makes a nice box plot, a little better than than the Excel one. And I I did I did. Then I did a data set, I think it kind of looked, uh, yeah, I looked at it, I said, I kind of clustered it around here in the middle, but then I threw some outliers on both sides, just to kind of see what would happen. You can see, yeah, so there, nice, evenly clustered around the middle. Remember, this is your mean, there's your uh, 25, and 25, I mean, uh, the, the, the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, and there's the outliers. So, the nice little piece of software if you need it. So if you got, if you get more pushed on your capstones or somewhere, you know, get, you, get you R. I know a lot of the, uh, say a lot of academics are using it too. So you wouldn't be looking like you're using some free, cruddy piece of software. It's, it's, getting, you know, it's, it's getting a lot of mileage. So it's out there. We'll play with it. So just. So that's that's all I got today. I have finished early and ten minutes early, right? Give you a break, and I'm not as sweaty as I thought it would be because I guess they did they get it working. You think? Or? Yeah. I think you could use it. I think you could. I'm probably water off right now. It's not full. Second out. So.